Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Forgiveness Assembly Vacation Bible School. I welcome, welcome, welcome all of you boys and girls to our Vacation Bible School this year. Um, I'm Sister Tricia, and I'm going to be your teacher today. Today is the first day of VBS. Um, compared to last year, it, this year it's going to be very different. Um, we're no longer, we're not in the church building. Uh, we are in our own homes. Um, it is online. But we're still going to have lots of fun. Um, and most importantly, we're going to learn today something about God. Okay? So I welcome you, welcome you, welcome you. Are you excited? Excited to be here today? I'm excited. If you're excited for me, let's just wave your hands for me, please. Just do a little wave here for me, okay? I'm excited to be here today. I'm thankful that we still have this opportunity. We can still have VBS. Um, thank God to our pastor and our co-pastor, Pastor Ishmael, that we can have this even though it's in our homes, even though it's online, we, well, I'm still thankful to be a teacher today. I'm so thankful that we can have this opportunity for all the kids to come together and learn about our God. Now, if you're excited for me, um, I want you guys to make some noise. I want you to, as I said, we're going to have lots of fun, okay? And I'm going to need you to help me to have this fun. So if you're excited and you're thankful and you're happy that we're having VBS today, I want you on the count of three to shout the name of Jesus. Now, do you know that when you shout the name of Jesus, when you call upon that name, there are a couple of things that happen. One, when you call upon that name, Jesus shows up. So if you're ever in trouble, if you ever need anything, you just call upon that name, Jesus, and he shows up and he helps us. When you call that name of Jesus, another thing that happens is you make God happy. He's happy that you're calling on his name. Another thing that happens is when you call upon that name, Jesus, it makes the devil and we're going to pretend today this is our devil. This is, this is our bad guy. He's the bad guy. He's the guy that makes us not obey the commandments. He's the guy that makes us not want to listen to our mommies and our daddies. He's the guy that makes us want to tell lies and do bad things. So when you shout the name of Jesus, he gets scared. He gets angry. He gets really, really confused and puzzled. So we're going to shout that name today, right? The Bible tells us that when you call upon that name, that name is very, very powerful, right? When you call upon that name, the devil trembles. So are you ready to have fun with me today? Are you ready? Are you excited? Are you happy that we're having VBS today? Well, if you are happy, I want you to shout the name of Jesus on the count of three as loud as you can, okay? So one, two, three, Jesus! Yeah, you guys did it. Good job, guys. Okay. So welcome, welcome, welcome again. Um, so before we get started in our program, we're just going to uh, open in a word of prayer. So let's get into prayer mode. Um, that means we're closing our eyes. That means we're ha hands together. And we're going to talk to God, right? That's what we do when we're praying. So please close eyes, hands together. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for this opportunity today, God. We thank you for all the kids that are watching today, God, and we pray that they will learn something about you, Jesus. 
You are our God. You are our help. You are our protector. You are our provider. And please bless each one of the kids that are listening and watching. Bless their parents. Bless everyone that's listening to this video today, God, and touch their hearts, touch their lives, that God, they will know that you are God and that you love us. Bless us, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so now we're just going to sing, Um, we're going to have like one worship song, and I'm going to need your help. So I need everyone, please stand up. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Remember I said at the beginning, we're going to have lots of fun, right? But I need you to help me out, right? I need you to help me. So let's stand up. Um, the song that we're going to sing, some of you may know it, some of you may not know it. But we're going to have fun singing this worship song today. The name of the song is, uh, This is the Day that the Lord has made. Now, how many of you know that today is the day that the Lord, our God, his name is Jesus, he made this day? How many of you know that today? I know that today. I know that he woke me up this morning. I know that he blessed me today. I know that he protected me and he provided food for me. I know that he not only kept me this one day, but he kept me days. He kept me weeks. He kept me months. He kept me years. God has been good to me and I love him. And I'm thankful today that he woke me up. I'm thankful today that we can have BBS. I'm thankful today that today is the day that the Lord made and I can worship him. Are you excited today? Are you excited today? Let's wave your hands for me. Wave your hands for me if you're excited. Wave, let's wave. Okay, so we're going to sing that song, right? And I want to see actions. You're going to make some actions when you're singing this song. Also, one thing I'm thankful to God for is he protected me and my family during this whole COVID pandemic. We could have been sick. We could have been in the hospital. We could have been dead. But God loves me. And God has been good to me and my family. And I know he's been good to you too because you're, you're all here today. So I'm thankful that this is the day that the Lord has made. So we're going to sing that song, Praise and Worship, and we're going to do some actions to it, okay? So it goes like this. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Whenever you hear the word Lord, I want you to point up, point to the sky because God is in heaven, right? So whenever you hear the word Lord, point up. So it goes like this again. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice. Whenever you hear the word rejoice, I want you to wave, okay? We will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Whenever you hear the word glad, I want you to smile. Smile for me, okay? And be glad in it. And be glad in it. For this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice. And be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Okay, we're going to try that one more time, right? So a couple keywords, right? I said, whenever you hear Lord, you're going to point up, right? Whenever you hear rejoice, you're going to wave your hands for me. And whenever you hear glad, you're going to smile for me. Let me see smiles. Okay? So three keywords. So let's 
Let's try that worship song one more time. And clap your hands, move around, have fun, okay guys? Remember, we wanna have fun today, but I need your help to have fun, okay? So come on, let's participate, let's worship. We're having fun, godly fun. God loves us, he loves you, he loves me, and we wanna worship him, right? Okay. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. For this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Good job, guys. Give your hands a round of applause. Thank you all for worshiping today. Okay, so let's get into our lesson. So starting today, each of us as C agents in training. We're going to do a mission where we're searching in the deep sea, okay? So a C agent in training never know what kind of creatures they're going to find in the sea, okay? Um, so we're going to play a game that allows us to dive deep into the ocean, okay? So I need your help today. We're gonna play this game and we're gonna dive into the ocean. We don't know what type of sea creatures we're gonna find in the ocean. There are all different kinds of things in the ocean, right? So this is my ocean. And we're going to dive, as I said, we're sea um, agents in training, right? And we're gonna be exploring, we're gonna be having fun, so this is the sea. It's a red sea. Everyone say red sea for me. Red sea. Perfect. So I'm going to explore. I'm going to dive deep into the ocean and I'm going to pick out a sea creature, okay? And you're going to tell me what it is. So I'm going to close my eyes and I'm diving down into the ocean. Eyes closed. Yeah, I got something. So this is a fish, right? Yep. Fish lives in the, the sea, right? Okay, so that's number one. Then I'm gonna dive into the ocean again and you're gonna tell me, okay, what I pick out. So eyes closed, let's go. I'm diving down into the ocean, getting gooey stuff. Yeah. Ooh, here's a rhino. Okay, so that's my second sea creature. So this is an example of the ocean, right? And there are different creatures that live in the sea. Now, can you tell me some other creatures that live in the sea? Um, we have fishes, we have octopus, we have lobster, we have crabs, we have shrimp, we have sharks, we have all different kinds of sea creatures, right? You can name a couple. We have, what else do we have? We have sharks, right? Did we say sharks? We have jellyfish. Um, these are just some examples of sea creatures. So now we're going to dive into the Bible story and you're going to see a group of people called Israelites. Can you say Israelites to me? Yes, perfect, Israelites, who also did not know what they're going to meet. They came across the sea and they didn't know what they were going to encounter, okay? So we're going to dive into our lesson now, um, and it's taken into the, um, into the book of Exodus in the Bible. Exodus chapter 14. Now, the book of the Bible consists of 
New Old Testament and it consists of New Testament. Do you know where um, Exodus, which one Exodus, the book of Exodus belongs to, if it belongs in the Old Testament or in the New Testament? Yes, the book of Exodus belongs in the Old Testament. So I'm, when you guys have time, I want your parents, you can ask your mommy or your daddy to read that book for you, book of Exodus. Say Exodus, everyone. Exodus chapter 14, okay? That's where our lesson is taken from today. So our lesson now is about, just to give you guys a little history, God's people were called Israelites, okay? And the Israelites were captured by a king. His name was Pharaoh, okay? His name was Pharaoh. He was a bad guy and he captured all of God's people. God's people were called Israelites, right? I need you guys to pay attention because I'm going to be asking questions after, okay? So this guy, remind me what his name is? Pharaoh. He is Pharaoh, right? He's a bad king. Now God's people, as I said before, they were called Israelites, right? And they were captured, they were slaves for this king. Do you know what a slave is? A slave is someone that works really, really hard, day and night. They work, they work, they work, they do all the work and they don't get paid. They sometimes don't get food, don't get water. They're treated badly. So this guy, as I said, Pharaoh, captured the Israelites, captured God's people, and he was treating them badly. How do you think that makes made God feel? Hurt, right? As I, God is our Heavenly Father, and he loves us, and God felt very hurt. God had a plan, so he wanted to rescue his people from the, this bad king, okay? So God, God always uses people. So he used a man named Moses. Everyone say Moses. Yes. Moses was a servant of God. Okay, so God went to Moses. This is Moses. God went to Moses and said to Moses, Moses, I want you to free my people. I want you to help them to escape from Egypt, okay? So now Moses could have been, could have said to God, God, I don't, I'm just a man. I'm scared and I'm afraid just like all the people. I'm a slave. I can't escape. They're gonna, Pharaoh's going to kill me. 